again, Jason Nivens. This flyweight bout is brought to you by Bike Works, your number one source for all your motorcycle parts, service, audio, and customization needs. Located in Liberty, Missouri. Fighting out of the blue corner, Rex Steinem! And fighting out of the red corner, Marcus Munoz! Round number one, our fight clock is presented by Hoy Excavating. Black and blue trunks for Rex Stidham, white trunks for Marcus Munoz. One thing would be good for Rex is if he keep this pressure the whole time, you know. Uh, Munoz has to have that forward pressure for using his teep kicks, his spin kicks, his taekwondo style. You just, saw, you just saw the rear teep from Munoz. Flying knee attempt from Stidham. You can already kind of tell Munoz does not want to uh, be against the fence. On that warning track is what we call it, right? The, the edge towards the fence. He just doesn't seem the most comfortable there. He wants to keep this fight at range. And right now, Rex is doing a good job of applying that forward pressure. Relatively open stance for both fighters. Good Hard low on the kick. outside kick. Naked right hand, thrown without the jab set for Munoz. Get him right back to his feet. Tellingly, Munoz did not pounce. That Good. was fast, that was fast. Half kick was almost an Achilles kick from Munoz. But now closing distance, looking for the double leg. Getting under the hips, nicely done for the takedown. Hands locked, pushing pulls, and gets the takedown here. He's locking up the legs, Rex is, to avoid allowing Munoz to put his feet to the cage to stand up. No guillotine danger. Munoz just holding that position, almost in a head chancery. No guillotine danger at all. Uh, we're getting to a more dangerous position if he gets that, if Munoz gets his left leg free. He's looking to sit to his left hip to apply a little more pressure and then get that right leg around his back. Half butterfly guard now. Here comes some danger indeed from the half butterfly. You see more squeeze. Still doesn't quite Marcus have Munoz. the angle he needs. Let's see if he readjusts here. There's and he's half. Oh, wow. And there's the win from head control to head chancery to guillotine to submission. Well done from Rex Stidham. Off the takedown, uh, uh, attacks the front neck. Has to readjust a couple times, but makes it tight and gets that leg over his back, and, and that's that's a tap with the guillotine choke. Marcus <laughs> Munoz, Miami MMA win number one, just like that. Tonight's fight replay is presented by Major Pat. As you see right here, Rex takes down a beautiful takedown, locks the legs in, but instead of covering the legs, he allows Munoz to create that angle, get off on one shoulder, and set up the chill to be tighter. If, uh, you know, Stedman were to let go and move his hips out, it would have been way easier, but you can't play in that range when someone's going for a guillotine. Yeah, you have to show a sense of urgency when someone wraps up your neck like that. He was safe and, until he wasn't. It was the movement into the half butterfly, allowing Ben Munoz to put more torque, more pressure, arc back and get the tap. But again, there was no danger on that until there was a lot of danger. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at one minute and 47 seconds of the first round. Your winner by tap out, rear naked choke, fighting out of the red corner, Marcus Munoz! That's our fight announcement. It is presented by Jack Daniels, Make It Count.